I'm Danae. Today we're going to be making a buffalo plaid quilt, which is one of my favorites, especially if I'm looking for a fast and easy project. Buffalo plaid quilts are wonderful beginner quilts and they're also one of my favorites for whenever I'm in a sewing slump and looking to get my sojo back. Today I'm especially excited about the one that I'll be making because it's going to be in my oldest son's college colors. Ethan is a sophomore football player at Colgate University in Hamilton, New York, and I've been wanting to make a throw size quilt that would be perfect in the stands as the games get colder and colder. I can't wait to get started. I've chosen to use Art Gallery solids for my quilt, and these colors are Snow, Nebula, and Candied Cherry. In order to get a true plaid look, you want your medium color fabric to be your fabric B. Then you can decide if you want your lightest or darkest to be your fabric A and C. I personally like the darker color to be fabric C because there will end up being a little more of that fabric than A in your quilt. So for me, snow will be A and candied cherry will be C. In order to get started, you need one yard fabric A, two yards fabric B, and one and an eighth yard fabric C. I'm going to start all my fabric and then I'll be ready to cut. All my fabric has been starched and lightly pressed and now I'm ready to cut. Let's start with fabric A, which is my lightest color. I've already set my edge and now I'm going to cut five, five and a half by with the fabric strips. B fabric all ready to cut. We are going to cut 11 five and a half by with the fabric strips. Because we're cutting more than in the other one, if you get off at all or your straight line doesn't seem as straight, go ahead and reset your edge and then keep going. It'll be way worth your time to do it while you're cutting than to wish you would have done it while you're sewing. Is our fabric C. For this one we're going to cut six five and a half by with the fabric strips. Now that we have all of our strips cut, let's head to the sewing machine and sew them together. We're going to sew B, A, B, A, B, A together until we're all of our A's are gone. And then we're going to sew C, B, C, B, C, B until all of our C's are gone. I have all my strips laid out in order of how I want to sew them. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam. using a quarter inch seam. And I've pressed all the seams in one direction. So in this case, I pressed all the seams down on both strip sets. This is gonna help us later when we're looking to piece our quilt together and nest our seams.
Now we're ready to subcut. We're going to start with our BA, BA, BA unit. The best way I think to subcut these is going to be folding this in half. By folding it in half, we're now only going to have to make two cuts as opposed to three or four, which just gives us a better chance to get it right. So what you want to do is you want to fold it in half and then line it up as best as you can using your nesting seams, using all the lines that you have to get it as straight and as nice as possible. Once you do that, then we're going to go ahead and grab our ruler. How I like to do this is I like to line my ruler up with my seams. This way, after I make a first cut, not only am I going to have the edge of the fabric to help line me up again for my second cut, but I'm also going to have my seams to make sure I'm as straight as possible. So what we need from this is we need to cut five rows that are six and a half inches wide. So we're going to head over to the edge, which I've already set my edge. And we're going to come over here and we're going to line this up at five and a half. And we are going to line up our bottom, we're going to line up our edge, and we're going to look at all of our seams, make sure everything looks good before we go ahead and make our first cut. Now we've gone as far as we can up the ruler, so we're going to move the ruler out of the way and we're going to very, very, very carefully slide our fabric down so that it's all the way onto the mat. We're going to grab our ruler again. We're going to line up with the edge at five and a half again and we're going to line up all of our seams to align to make sure we're as perfect as we can be. Take your time doing this part. There's no rush. And then go ahead and cut the rest of your seam. Now you're going to go ahead and cut five more five and a half inch wide rows. Now that we've subcut our BABA -BA rows, they'll look like this. There is enough fabric that I actually cut seven rows. So there's plenty of wiggle room if you make a mistake. Don't sweat it too much. Reset your edge and just cut again. For the CBCBCB fabric, we are going to also cut five and a half inches wide, but we need seven rows this time. So I've already set my edge. I've lined all my fabric up. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other fabric and I'm going to look to set my edge at five and a half. I'm going to make sure I'm all lined up with my seams. I'm going to use as much of the ruler as I can. And I'm going to go ahead and make my first cut. Just like before, I'm going to go ahead and slide everything down as carefully as I can. Line it back up. And cut that last little bit. I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting five and a half inch sections until I have seven. Now that all of our rows are cut, seven CBCB CB rows and six BABA BA rows, we are now ready to start assembling our quilt top. Alternating our rows starting with CBCB, CB, because we pressed all of our rows in one direction, all of our seams should nest perfectly. If for some reason yours isn't nesting, if you just turn your row over, it should nest. I did not pin when I was sewing my strips together, 
but I am gonna pin now using these clover fork pins to ensure that all my seams are nesting nicely and that absolutely nothing shifts while I'm sewing. When I sew pin using these clover pins, I like to start in the middle and line everything up, start in the middle, seams are nesting, fabrics lined up, pin. And I'm gonna go all the way down one side, pinning all the way. Nesting my seams, making sure my fabric's lined up, then I'll come back and go the other way. Once that's all done, I'll be ready to head to the sewing machine, where I will sew a quarter inch seam all the way across. I'll then come back and add another row to what I've already had, again sewing a quarter inch seam. Here's my quilt top, all sewn together and pressed. This is such a quick quilting project that turns out great every time. I'm planning to back mine in some gray Shannon Cuddle and hopefully it'll be ready for the next game day. I would love to see your buffalo plaid quilts. So tag me at Olive and L Quilt Co. on Instagram and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more quilting tips, tricks, and tutorials. See y'all next time! Go Gate!